The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. It's Friday and we got a jobs report this morning. You guys all know that who are watching this show. And uh, the dollar is going <laughs> to, I guess it's going to go to the top of the roof here. Let's just take a look at it. This is something we've been kind of talking about passing on the shorts especially on these weekly unfair highs around 95.85. And now we've crossed the border. We haven't had a Friday close, but that's going to be, you know, a whole new technical leg up for this thing. And we've been looking at this again. If you haven't been watching our show, 93.62, putting stops down below and just let this thing breathe higher. Situations like this, <clears throat> in my opinion, you, you probably are going to want to, you know, when, you, when you've got a kind of a runaway train here like this and you're putting some stops uh, you know, giving it a little bit of room there. Um, you want to trade a little bit lighter. Uh, you met some targets above on these weekly unfair highs around 95.85. And, and right now this is kind of in the ether up here and you, you know, you don't want to, uh, in my opinion, even with the uh, breakout above that 95.85, you don't want to just kind of back the truck up and load up on something like this. This is again, use your money management rules, uh, risk reward scenarios. Um, and you know, th those are, really really good ideas all the time no matter what i mean you can again we talk about lose a little lose a little lose a little make a lot um, this is one that's been relatively simple as far as the technical reasons that have uh, you know come around for this particular product but uh you know even if you're you know betting on the ncaa tournament which uh i think half our nation does you know you look at the spreads you look at the you know the total package uh you look at the odds and you know it's a, it's an interesting exercise in uh you know money management and that kind of is not that similar to what we're doing here but uh it's you know the, <coughs> anytime you are doing any type of position sizing or or ramping up uh leverage on certain trades you got to just always keep that in mind that, uh, you know, you want to be able to take your ball home and come back and play again the next day. And, uh, you know, just reminding everybody of that, even though this thing's looking very attractive at this stage again. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the U.S. Treasuries really quick because those are definitely on the radar screen here. Uh, we're looking at the June contract now on the 10-year. And got a new profile appearing. This really doesn't mean too much today. Uh, this is obviously, you know, one report related type uh, uh, reaction that's going to happen. But just for uh, giggles, we're going to look at the 126.28 area on the 10 years, a new profile unfair low appearing today with the highs around that 128.01. You know, what do I think is going to happen? Uh, let's just kind of back up and look at the long term on the uh, on the June contract 127.11 so 127.11 126.28 got a little bit of a DMZ run right now it's, that's kind of interesting that we're at we're at that stage again I think you know <laughs> yeah putting a, putting a couple of contracts on before the report based on your risk tolerance if you've got a hunch whatever that's up to you but again we always talk about you know just waiting patiently until some information comes out and then kind of you know waiting for this thing to settle out a lot of times if you look at the historical you know chart patterns uh intraday of you know what happens directly after a report you know we usually get a move um a lot of times a knee jerk and the wrong reaction and um you know i know some guys who are in the old days owned platforms that would uh they knew where all the stops were because they owned the platform and everybody had stops 
residing on their servers. Um, I don't know if that's as prevalent as it used to be, but you know, remember that there's going to be some some knee jerk reactions a lot of times before we head in the right direction. So just sit tight. Um, the bonds and the notes usually figure it out uh, pretty quickly, and then the trend is kind of in force. So remember these inflection points. Uh, the bottom of the previous box here is 128.18. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to hold on. And any type of gravitation back above 127.10, getting out of this DMZ down here, we're going to have to take a hard look at that as uh, it's time to uh, get long again on the 10-year. Let's take a look at the 30-year. Again, crossing back above the border at 159.10 is going to be pretty important. And then I think we could shoot for 161.11. Uh, I'm not, you know, as you can tell by my rhetoric, I'm not exactly a huge fan of getting short these treasuries. And, you know, we still haven't really broken down technically totally yet. So uh, just making sure you guys realize what my stance is on it. Let's take a look at the Boond. That's our daily. We're kind of right in the middle here. 158.38 up, up, up on the bottom, up top, 159.82. Here's the long term. Compressing up against this. And we're going to take a look at the, while we're finishing up on the treasuries, we're going to take a look at the TLT. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's the situation on the TLT. You know, looking a, on the long term, like we've kind of crossed some borders down here, 129.16. And we're sitting right at the bottom of that DMZ, if you will, between the daily infralows and the weekly infralows. But again, I, I think you just got to sit tight and wait for the report to come out. Uh, you know, just to kind of give some barometers here. We're going to go into our scanner. Just take a look at what's been going on this week. Uh, we've been kind of focusing on this daily situation and our speedometers up here on the breadth on the S&Ps. This has kind of been a bit a mixed bag as we've been talking about. It's provided some trading opportunities on the S&Ps. We have, you know, met some, tar you know, initial targets we talked about down below 2084. And then all of a sudden it was back, you know, don't, doesn't want to be there, get get back into the middle of the fair auction on the daily. So what do you do now? Again, you got to sit tight, in my opinion, wait for this report. Uh, you know, like somebody was saying earlier, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the TV, I want to talk about Mark Cuban and what he said yesterday just a little while too. But uh, there's a lot of discounting that could possibly happen based on the weather. So if these numbers are – are not exactly <laughs> where where the where everybody wants to see them in the uh, investment community. They uh, more than likely could start discounting those numbers based on the weather and you know God knows whatever else they they want to throw in there. So keep that in mind that that knee jerk if it's bad they could start discounting and um, you know. Here we go all time highs again. So just be aware that that can happen. And that goes for the indices here. So, <clears throat> you know, the dollar has generally liked, excuse me, the, the broad stock market has generally liked a higher dollar. At some point, this is going to be kind of a negative, but that relationship is still intact. So just pay attention that, you know, keep turning the wrench the same way. Market likes a higher dollar right now, not a lower dollar. So, it's quite a few things going on here. Let's take a look at the DAX. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, this is something that we've been, you know, warning against going short. The euro falling apart is, is you know, putting this in the uh, ionosphere, not in the stratosphere yet. But we're going to take a look at the euro as it relates to the to the DAX. Okay, I think we got a caller. Uh, is this Lou? That's right. Hey, Lou, how are you? 
Alpine. Uh, I was wondering if you could look at the uh, S&P and tell me if this is a good time to go long. <laughs> um, let me take a look at it. We, we we talked about it a little bit, and you know, we get, you got a big report coming out, and I, you know, I, I'm personally a fan of of not being in the market when these reports come out. Um, if you're a long term investor, though, uh, in the S and P's or in the broad stock market, you haven't had a lot of reasons technically to get out of a long term trade. Uh, any closes below twenty eighty four, you're going to start scratching your head about that on a daily. That's about uh, 15 points away from this. And as we look at the weekly, I actually think you've got a possible buy point around 2071, 2072. So, again, you know, should you be loading up right before the report? In my opinion, no. But uh, you, you don't have any big technical reasons to get as a long term investor to get out of a long term trade north. If that makes sense, is that is that? Uh, do you have any comments after what I just said? I'll, I'll try totally. to answer them. Totally. Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks, Lou. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. All right. So <clears throat> that's my stance for the long term investor for the trader. I think you need to sit tight. Uh, we were taking a look at the euro and the DAX, and just gonna you know it's, again, this is kind of boring every day if I review this. Uh, but just want to reiterate that there's not this thing's not on sale. This is the euro, and there's been quite a few cool reasons. We've and you know in the past we've ignored any type of divergences in Navigator. We've talked about that. I mean, let's just go back in time. We've made some lower lows and higher lows on Navigator all along, but we've been discounting that. That's a, that's a technical divergence that we usually pay attention to. And we've just basically thrown that out the window. We're throwing it out the window again. Okay. There's too much overhanging fundamental things out there that, uh, you know, we just, you know, the, the odds are to be short here. And the odds are to be short here. The DAX is a kind of a direct, and here's the, uh, here's the long term on the euro. That 112.45 was the latest leverage point that we could use. As we look at the DAX, there's just too much repricing data out there, if you will. I'm going to pull up the DAX again. To think about this thing from the short side whatsoever, and in fact, whenever you can find some support areas, you need to probably pay attention to them on the buy side. All right, guys, we're going to come back and do a little bit of work right before the report, and we're going to see how this shakes out. with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75 percent off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we covered quite a bit. Uh, let's just take a look at gold right before this report. All the things that might matter or might be in play. Uh, 1222, that's, you know, been the area we had to get above. We couldn't. And we've been talking about just opting out on this particular product lately. That's still the case. We're just drifting lower. And we're going to take a look at silver really, really quick here. The May contract. And, um, again, this has kind of been the uh, eh, looking quite sad. Below profiles now. Had two closes now, possibly three below our latest profile in silver, and uh, this is kind of a waiting game for longs, in my opinion. You are down to the fifteen eight fifteen dot excuse me fifteen dollars and eighty six cents. Why am I saying dot? Uh, we've reached a low uh, fifteen ninety, so we've met some targets down there. On the intermediate, though, the reason I'm saying and bringing up the intermediate chart would be, would be nice to get back above 16.22 just to get some confirmations. But today we have touched almost to the tick that 15.88 area, 15.90. Um, so you know you've got a little bit of a chance here to start accumulating. But the real convicted trade is going get, to be getting back above 16.22 and hopefully plowing north. But uh, remember, long, long, long-term stops got to be below 15.88. Or 1587, excuse me. Why am I saying 1588 all the time? It says 1587 right on the screen. <clears throat> you know, I was watching, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I was watching Mark Cuban and listening to him ramble. He's, you know, he's obviously an outspoken guy. Some of the things he was saying yesterday, I just don't even think are remotely a possibility um, when he was talking about the crowdfunding and things like that. But, um, you know, people, you know, regard him as 
the savvy, savvy, savvy guy, blah, 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 when it comes to investing. If you look back at his history, if you look at the uh, broadcast.com and how that Yahoo thing shook out, you know, do, do a little bit of reading on that guy. He's, he's not the uh, – sometimes he's not the sharpest pencil in the pack. So some of the things he says, I would take it face value. Not to bash him, just saying historically, look at some of the things that have gone in that guy's past. Here we go. XLF, we're still going to take a look at this. I still think this is one of the best trades on the books here. Stops above 24.51. That's still, in my opinion, a real good situation. And as we go into this report, let's just kind of revisit some of the things. we got about two minutes here. We normally don't look at this, but we are going to look at it right now. Some of the, some of the components overseas, this is the FTSE. Again, in my opinion, this is not an area to short at these inflection points up here. We're going to take a look at the Shanghai really, really quick. Again, some of the things that are going on overseas that might be impacted by this. Still got a buy point at 32.29 on the Shanghai. Here's the NASDAQ numbers before this report, just so you guys have them. Forty-four hundred still sitting down there. Are we going to gravitate back down and hit that? Just got to wait and see. See how the market acts after the report. Let's take a look at some breath numbers here. Just trying to give you enough information that you can think about. There's the breath numbers on the S and P's, looking quite mixed. There's the NASDAQ, a little bit stronger, as we can imagine, with what's going on in the NASDAQ relative to the S&Ps. And we're going to take a look at crude oil really quick. Uh, you know, I've been pretty bullish on crude oil. I still like this above 50. And kind of going back and do a little retest of that. But, uh, you know, we've talked about all the good reasons, in my opinion, to think about that from the long side. I don't know if the report's going to affect crude oil that much, the economic report or the uh, unemployment report. We're going to take a look at Apple to see where that thing is. And I'm pulling this up because, lo and behold, we have an orange bar. We have a new profile coming out. And here we go on the daily. Technical damage for the first time, 127.24. We talked about that as a buying point. Now you got to get stopped out of this trade and sit tight on Apple and wait. I know that's hard for a lot of people to do, but we could drift lower, even with all the fundamental reasons out there that people want to be long and, and the cash and blah, blah, blah. Got to sit tight on Apple now. We'll be right back, guys. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. You know what's Cool. Taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. I'm just looking at some numbers here after the report. Market's bouncing around a little bit here. 2100 starting to climb starting to get digested let's just look at the 240s here here we go this is real time all right so um can't really I'm, I'm looking at uh you know some of the things coming on the scanner right now and a lot of these stocks aren't totally open yet so we're not going to be able to kind of get a gauge of how the internals of the s p yet uh, some of these stocks aren't open, so we're not going to get some valid numbers here. But these are crunching numbers as we speak, and uh, just uh, kind of wait and see there on that. It's looking like the market's not, you know, violently reacting to the downside here to to anything that's going on in this report. The euro is continuing to get hammered here. Let's just take a look at that. Dollar is kind of holding steady. There we go. There's two forty on dollar. These are real time quotes. This is kind of what Nadex is for, I think, just, you know, situations like this. But let's take a look at, let's take a look at Europe here a little bit. Ah, looking for any reason whatsoever to go up. DAX. <laughs> there we go. And let's take a look at the Euro. And, wow, yeah. New leg down. Here's a 60 on the Euro. 
the gift that keeps on giving. I, it's you know what I I was thinking this was going to go to par when we were at one thirty five, and I thought I was nuts, but now I don't think I'm so nuts. This is crazy. You know, <clears throat> I, I know you guys remember this, but this thing was like eighty seven per dollar at one point. Easily, we could go back to that. Easily. And I'm not jumping on the bandwagon late here. We've been talking about that since the 130s. Okay. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar, see how that's reacting. Not a lot of reaction there, but some reaction, as you can see. Let's take a look at the British pound. Very similar to the euro. Now you got to look at the British pound is breaking down below profiles, below that 152.21 area. By the way, if you guys want to call in, I'm just going to give you the numbers again. They are 877-927-6648 internationally or locally, 727-445-1044. We were taking a look at Apple before the break. Trade 127.11 pre-market, it looks like. Again, now, you got to wait till we get back above that border, 127.24. Hopefully get a close up there to start feeling good and rosy about being on the long side of this. Let's take a look at gold. I'm just trying to think of, of a reason that this thing might not sell off more. But uh, here we go. We talked about staying away from this on the long side right now. Down pretty good. This is real time 1184. And we got to just take a look at silver right if we talked about it. Silver hanging in there, still trying to use that Custer's last stance, 1587. Real time 1590. We went down and touched it again. That's the deal on silver. We're going to take a look at the yen really quick. And this is, you know, got that dollar somewhat relationship to it. We talked about leveraging again off of the next leg up. This is a great, great example of, of how and why and reasons to use these inflection points. 119.94 closed above there yesterday, had that new profile, talked about using this as the new support area, it reached a low today of 119.90. So about three ticks. And now we're off to the races again. I think we had a caller yesterday about that. And we talked about do not sell this inflection point up top around 120, 42, 43. Something that's been a pain in the butt here. Let's take a look at IBM. Had that new profile up here. Had that close below yesterday, uh, or excuse me, that close back above profiles yesterday around that 160.26. I'm sitting tight with this. Tried to leverage off of, when I say sitting tight, I'll tell you what that means. 163.09 was a short point for me getting back down below that border. Allowing for a little bit of noise there. Still trying to hang in there with the shorts. When I say sit tight, I mean, I'm just kind of biding time. My stops are still above 163 on this particular trade. Going to take a look at Tesla here. <coughs> Excuse me. 193.70, got to have stops below there. The stock's not looking that good. I'll admit that. Watch out for Tesla. Stops below 193.70 on that particular stock. Let's take a look and see how the broad market's doing. Coming off a little bit here. Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay. That's the 240 situation. Again, 2100 is a big number here. Here's the 60-minute. If you guys are doing some day trading there. A little bit of a reversal. 
I wouldn't call this a big move down and reversal down. So again, the leverage for the long term guys are, is still on the long side, and not a lot of tone has changed. Let's go into the Nasdaq. Let's take a look at the numbers there really quick. I'm just trying to give you guys the pressure points pre market here. There's the two forties. technical issue here. Hold on two seconds, guys. Okay, so what I've done here is I've pulled up in the scanner something I wanted to talk about. Um, the other day, we had a, quite a few stocks sitting on the bottom, and what I did is I pulled up a filter on my S&P 500. I showed daily. Th these are basically sitting at the cliff if we're sitting at the similar area on the weekly. So we've got Noble Energy, Murphy Oil. None of these are astounding outputs because some of these energy stocks, some of them are still sitting very, very precariously on their lows. But as we look across this, I want to look at some of them that are lining up with tops here. And these are inflection points that are lining up. And I want to show this really quick. As you can see, similar neighborhoods. And they may or may not have pulled back. So what I want to do here is just look at the action, ARG and Norfolk, so Norfolk Southern, ARG, NSC. Okay. Exxon Mobil's down there is one we need to stay away from, and I'll tell you why. As you can see, Exxon Mobil, bottom, bottom, not looking good. KSU, Kansas State. University, let me write that down. <laughs> and let me go back here and write these down so we can hit them really quick. ARG and SC. Okay. ARG. All right, so here's the situation on ARG. It's telling you that we're in the neighborhood of these unfair highs. But also coming back down in our for lows. If I, as I pull this up, I don't like the action on this. I don't think there's a ton of opportunity on this. So we're going to kind of move on. And let me pull this up. this morning here's the daily situation on nsc here's the weekly so what does this mean this means that we're sitting right at unfair lows on our daily and coming back up into those and this has been kind of a weak situation lately and what i want to do here is just kind of look at this if we have any kind of market cooperation you've got some great great leverage points here on Norfolk, Norfolk Southern <laughs> around 109.28, okay? Pre-market, we're trading, you know, 109.16. So I actually like this because why? Because we've kind of poked our head above the weekly, come back down. Now we're retracing back up into that weekly daily area. I like this as a short, but I also like putting stops right above those inflection points. This is kind of one of the things that I like to see, pulling up the scanner, just kind of picking a – a situation here. Um, Exxon Mobil, we're going to look at that really quick. As you can see on our landscape view, we have talked about this recently, staying away from this thing. And I want to kind of go over that really quick. Even though we're at bottom of the profile on the weekly, bottom of the profile on the daily, things on the lows go lower and any type of market downturn could drag this down. And obviously, this particular stock now is not really looking to and feeling that rosy about the price of oil sitting still or even going higher. So right now, ExxonMobil, you can find better candidates. And what we talked about yesterday and the day before was we're more than likely going to drift down. And that's exactly what's happening. Take a look at the XLE really, really quick. 
why we're talking about it all. Uh, you know, not the best situation yet. We want to get back above 78.81 on this. Crude oil's hanging in there. We've got some inventories coming out today, though, so be aware of that. Here's pre market on oil coming down to that big 50 area. Going back to the scanner, I'm finish up here. KSU, KSU. Okay, so this was kind of on the radar screen here as a kind of a top bottom situation. Here's the inflection points up top: one fifteen seventy five on the weekly. And giving you a nice pullback into 115, that's very similar area. So, you know, what is this saying? This is saying that with the long-term kind of breakout is still available here on Kansas City Southern. And relative to the Norfolk Southern, we're looking at this as somewhat of a buy point with stops down below 115.67. I know they kind of trade a little bit in tandem there, but we're going to take a look at this one from the long side and the Norfolk Southern from the short side based on what I just talked about. Let's take a look at something else in the scanner we're going to take a look at uh, another filter here which is going to go in and clear that sorting daily god i can't move my mouse today here we go and let that populate A lot of things going on this morning. It's a little sticky here. All right, as we look across the grid here, what we want to do is also look at some weeklies. We're going to just kind of block out some other instruments. And we're going to take a look at that. So these are pretty much the dogs of the S&P 500. We've got about 10 stocks here. We talked about State Street the other day, STT. Um, we also talked about Occidental Petroleum. We talked about Ralph Lauren. Those are all stocks that are still able to be shorted. The market turns south. We're going to have some decent pullbacks on this. So let's take a look at it one more time. These are, again, we want to try to put probabilities in our favor. So when we look at State Street, STT, this is one on the radar screen the other day. Looked out, look how this has acted. It came right off of those 7582 areas on the short side. And now we're getting back to, down below and get, getting some technical damage here on the on the on the weeklies. Let's take a look at OXY. This was one to stay away from of being on sale, so to speak. Here's the weekly situation. Here's the daily. Still nothing to hang on to down there on Occidental. Still a good short and red across all time frames and trading 77.15 pre-market. Not the time to buy it. Let's take a look at Ralph Lauren. This is something on our radar screen the other day based on coming up in the weekly unfair lows and the daily unfair lows. And this has provided a little bit of a trading opportunity. Picked up about three or four points here. We're going to be right back, folks. Take a look at everything before the market opens. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. 
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Steve Rhodes as he teaches techniques on technical analysis using headed recognition, celestial charting, Fibonacci, and other tools. The Trader's Edge, next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. We're not going to hit any more individual stocks because these are kind of some sea changes that are occurring on some of the instruments that we normally look at. The dollar is just out of control on the upside. There's nothing to hang on to. Do not short this. Here's the 240s on that situation ramped up again and used as support. And it's on the launching pad. Uh, the, the U.S. stock market is obviously not completely enjoying the situation that's going on with the treasuries. This is kind of, a again, a big technical big huge issue now um for the for the notes and the bonds this is you know first time validly i can say that this is definitely a change in tone here technically speaking we are breaking down the long term and the intermediate term and uh this is just something now, you know, you, or I'm not, you know, it's not time to sit here and try to buy notes and bonds on sale at this stage. We've had some technical damage, and I haven't ever said that before. Uh, if you guys have been listening to me, this is first utterances I've had about this. Uh, let's take a look at the yen really quick. This is obviously enjoying the hell, excuse me, the heck out of um, what's going on with uh, the U.S. dollar situation. Um, just, you know, again, Things on their highs go higher. This, 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 we've been talking about buying this. 
all support areas whatsoever just continuing to buy the yen this has been the decent trade we talked about staying away from gold this thing's getting dismantled at this stage let's take a look at this here we go stay away we could have a lot lower now and there's some people could be some people running for the door on gold so just you know it's not on sale yet silver on the other hand not not breaking down which is kind of kind of cool here and you've got a place to pick a battle 1587 so just you know might be worth a shot on that one kind of showing its hand a little bit there crude oil hanging in there 5013 the go-go economy could drag this thing up or the numbers excuse me let's take a look at before we exit here we just got to look at the numbers on the s&p and try to figure out how to you know trade this during the day here's the 2091 25 area on the 240s that's actually been 2091.75 that's pretty much been hit so far uh, we're still kind of in a range here not a big sell-off i mean i actually would have expected this market to sell off a lot more with the bonds getting crushed like that and the notes and the dollar and the, uh, and the euro and all kinds of other things going on it's actually holding up you know it's a fact it's actually kind of holding up here with all that uh, action going on externally so the short-term numbers again on the 240s 29 2100 up top let's just call it that um, if we break down below 29 25 we could start seeing the 2084 again so just um, keep that in mind could have some people exiting when the market opens the stock market opens some of the individuals instruments catch up with all the action here let's take a look at scanner really quick see if we got any changes here going on any of the new stocks open you know, one of the things that's going on, which is kind of bearish in general, is you've got a lot of new stocks uh, attempting to make weekly new boxes. So let's just kind of go into the scanner. Let's kill all the sorting. Let's go into weekly. New box attempting to appear. And there you go. These are stocks that are basically saying, I've got new supply up top. Bear signals. All right, guys, we'll pick up the one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.